Hello, I'm Mark Henry, and this is the uh, session one of uh, Tai Chi. We're going to learn uh, the Sung style Tai Chi. And um, <clears throat> if you see the first video the, um, of the warm up, you want to warm up, so we're going to do that. Uh, as a reminder, there's nothing wrong with my right wrist, but this is a visual aid. So this is just to symbolize. Uh, my right hand, so you know what the heck my right hand's doing. A student suggested that, uh, so she went and she got these for me and said so that she could know what my right hand doing, that way she knew what to do with her left. So it's kind of a visual aid, all right? So we want to warm up for Tai Chi. So we're going to do the, um, like the, in the first, uh, first session, we uh, did all the warm up exercises, we're going to do those. The first thing you want to do is Wu Ji, feet or shoulder width. Okay, shift your weight to the ball of your foot, then back to the heel. Keep your back straight. Be careful not to be leaning. So you're going to the ball of the foot, back to the heel. So when you shift your weight to the ball of the foot, you want to inhale. And to the heel, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, okay, all right? And we're going to loosen up the neck. So remember to be a marionette puppet and the strings pulling it up, okay? So inhale, exhale, inhale. Push your chin back gently, and then exhale. Let your eyes follow your hands. Okay. Keep, be mindful. Make sure the sh shoulders don't raise up like that. Okay. Keep them relaxed. Imagine strings pulling up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, push your chin back. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, the other one for the neck. Raise your hands up by heart level. Lower the left hand. Look at the right. Turn your head only. Okay. Inhale, exhale to the center. Bring the right hand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So make sure you're just turning your neck. Uh, you may have a tendency to turn your waist. Well, that's taken away from the neck. So be mindful. Make sure your waist stays there and your head only. Okay? That's it. Do that. So, all right. Uh, <clears throat> so those are the two for the neck. Next one is for the shoulders. We're going to roll the shoulders, but not big circles, we want to do small circles, okay? So pretend this is like a, uh, like the wheel of the locomotive, okay? So have about 70% of your weight on your heel, okay? That way everything's in alignment. Inhale, roll your shoulders, and then soften your knees, exhale. You should feel your heels going to the ground here, connecting. Okay. Then inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Okay. 
It's one for the shoulders. Next one's called bringing in the chi. So we take our hands like this. Inhale, keep the shoulders down. Exhale, eye level, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure those shoulders don't go up, okay? Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Now we're going to loosen up the spine. Okay. So you want your... Um, Hand on top. So wherever the bottom hand, take the bottom hand. Inhale, like you're touching the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. All right? Okay. Second one for the spine is called, uh, turning at the waist, which is the fundamentals of Tai Chi. Um, if you have um, I'll demonstrate. First we'll do here. Okay. You want the right hand on top. This is symbolize the right hand. Okay. Turn at the waist. Don't go past the hip. Then exhale. And try not to look at the ball. But if you do, you look at the ball. Okay? And then don't look at the ball. Eye straight forward. And you'll notice your attention goes to the sacrum right here. So it's good for the spine. All right? Fundamentals of Tai Chi, turning at the waist. So you may find yourself your hip going, you know, turning. Okay. So you can take a chair. Now keep your hips intact. Back is straight, of course. Okay, here. Inhale. Whatever. If the left's on top, you go to the left. Right's on top, go to the right. Either inhale one way, exhale the other way. Watch your elbows, they may want to come up, let them relax. You want your shoulders to be relaxed, okay? And that'll keep your hips there. And then after a while, then you can then, then you'll get the feeling, shoulder width, and your hips will stay in place and you're just turning that to waist. Okay. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale one way. Exhale. Okay. So those are two for the spine. Okay. Okay. Next one's for the hip. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, okay? The second one is called push the wall, okay? It's a little tricky. The first thing you think is this way. Now they want us to push the wall like this. Push the wall, okay? All right, so my hip is, or my um, heel is up. When I, it's kind of like I sit down, sit down, push out. Okay. Push out. Push the wall. 
and take my left, push. For the hip, push. Push. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay. All right. Now we go with the knees. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, Tai Chi walking. Well, eggshell fist. Have the eggshell fist. Okay. So we don't have to get in the habit of that. Eggshell fist. Heel. Ball the foot. Shift to weight forward. Do not let that knee go past the toe. That's the only thing you don't do in Tai Chi. Don't let that go over. So make sure your back is straight. Shift back. Heel, ball of the foot. Shift to weight. Don't let that back heel come up. You may have a tendency to go, see that back heel? Get that heel down. Heel stay to the ground. Rule of thumb. Heels stay connected. Heel, ball of the foot. Okay. So you try to avoid looking down in Tai Chi. Okay. So how do I know? So as I push my weight, when I weight goes on the ball of my foot, when I can't push down, stop. And you're safe. Heel, ball of the foot. Can't push down anymore. Stop. Keep your back straight, head level. Remember the book on your head. Because as soon as you, you know, like I said before, the head starts going like this. It's about seven, eight pounds. So you start doing this, you're, you're going to be top heavy. Get in the habit. Get your body. You're reprogramming, reprogramming. Very important. Okay. So, now we're going to add a punch, opposite hand, opposite foot. So, right foot, heel, ball the foot, left, turn, back. Push. Now this is relaxed. This is not like karate, karate punch. This is just relaxed. Okay. So I'm not really, you know, it looks like I'm doing it, but it's real relaxed. Shoulders. Don't lean. Don't let this hand pull you over either. Don't let your hand, the hand, you know, pull in there. Stay focused on this. The weight distribution. Okay. It's one for the knees. Okay, next one is for balance two. Don't forget, plant foot should be at a 45 degree angle. That's what the cranes taught us, or the penguins. Okay, because if your feet are this way, you know, tightrope. Put it out at an angle, much better. So listen to that, try that out. Okay, if you have a balance issue, stay within your comfort zone. You can use a chair or table or whatever, to steady, okay. <clears throat> kind of shift your weight on the left, tap out. Show the side view. So all my weight's on the, put all my weight here, one ounce. Ball the foot, I'm not touching my heel. That's your goal, that's your ultimate goal there. First goal, you may find yourself doing this. You know, well, that means you're leaning. You have to reprogram, get so you put all your weight on the back. Okay, all right. Okay, we call that test the water. It's like, you know, you're getting in ready to the pool. You don't know how cold it is, so you're just sticking your toe in. You don't want to stick your whole foot in there. So just kind of look at that, you know, pretend that way. Okay, all right, you can do that here. And then here. OK, 
Okay? Eventually, you're, uh, after you feel good doing that, then the next goal, make sure that 45, that you kick in the air. This is to get your balance there, okay? You don't have to be, you know, Bruce Lee or Jackie, Jackie Chan or like that, okay? But that's your ultimate goal, but stay within your comfort zone. You can even, you know, reprogram. Who wants to fall? You know, and I understand, some of you may have fallen, afraid to do this. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to go into that, you know, until you have built up, until you don't have to use the chair anymore. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so those are uh, for the, not only for the knee, but your balance and all that. And also program keeps you from, if you get startled, that's not gonna be foreign. It'll, it'll muscle memory go in there. Okay, all right. Ankles, it's called tapping. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Get some fluids in those ankles. It's because you did all the others, you know, for the shoulders, that didn't help the, you know, the ankle or the knee, okay? Make sure each of these joints get the special attention. I can't stress this enough. This is just as important as the form itself. But this is Tai Chi. You're, in, uh, you're breathing, mindful of your body and, and parts of the body, okay? Little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe. Little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe, okay? Be careful, you know, don't put any pressure on there and try to do that. that that's too much. Make sure you don't have any weight on there. And if you have to, you can do it on your chair. You can sit um, and, and do these too, you know. You know, the, I, uh, the purpose is to get, look, you know, get some fluids in there and at least work the, don't skip that. It's important, that's where it starts. We're connected. Connect to the earth. So that helps get those fluids in there, okay? So is that all of them? No, how about these babies? Okay, so inhale, fan out. Wait, count to five, then exhale through the nose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, when to count to five. The reason is, there, give it a chance chance for chi to get in there, you know? Especially if you have some issues with the, the hands and the, ankle and the knuckles and so You know, give some chance for the fluids to get in there. Mindful. Remember, the mind, where the mind goes, the chi goes. Where the chi goes, the fluids go. So just remember that formula. That's what you're doing, okay? Getting those fluids there. Okay, so that's the whole thing, exercise. Get that in your routine every day. Shouldn't even take you more than 10 minutes or more. And if you want to do more, that's fine. Um, especially if you have certain parts that you need extra, do it. I mean, you know, you know, if they, oh, this feels good. Well, do 50 million of them if you want. You know, listen to your body. If your body says, man, that feels good. Well, then do more. Be kind to your body and your body will be kind to you. And um, Remember, the chi is always healing, okay? It's always, always healing. We're, we're pulling it up, electromagnetic energy, to get it through our body and make us all a uh, connection and get that going, getting the fluids going. Okay, so now we're gonna do the uh, um, first movement of, uh, of, of uh, the Sung style, uh, Tai Chi, okay? Um, I'll show you the front side, side view, and in the back, okay? So, your first one is, you imagine there's a Tai Chi ball on the shelf right there. You know, it's not, it's right there, it's not way out there, it's not way up here, or like that, it's right there. The ball's on the shelf. So, what you wanna do, make sure your feet are shoulder width, your shoulder width, not mine, okay? And uh, 
You'd be surprised. Some, some people think, you know, they'll go like this. And, well, it's nice to feel you have broad shoulders, but you might want to tweak that a little bit, you know. Find that, that spot. Shoulder width. Shoulder width. Okay. Then it'll become muscle memory. Okay. So here you are. You might want to have your feet, you know, remember at the 45 degree angle, you know. Just find a comfort zone. It doesn't have to be exactly 45, but have a comfort. You just don't want it to be this straight. Have it there. Okay. Okay. So there's the ball, right? Okay, so you reach up. Lift the ball off the shelf. Okay. Then you, then you sit, soften, and bring this down. So you want to form the letter U. Okay, so up, make sure that comes up like that. Down. Here, to, here, and bring it up to the chest. Okay, don't forget to breathe. Okay, so you inhale, exhale. Okay, so I'll show you this. Inhale. Exhale. So you're kind of forming that letter U. Just think about scooping up the chi, okay? So you got the ball. Bring it up. Here, bring it up to the chest. And when you bring it up to the chest, you want to shift your weight to the right, okay? Inhale, exhale, bring it up to the chest, you shift to the right, left heel, ball of the foot, you're going to put it back on the shelf, okay, you're going to get the ball, remember the marionette puppet, strings, okay, so don't, you know, don't, just be very gentle, keep the shoulders relaxed. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, you got the chest, you're gonna put it on the shelf. Follow step. Okay, make sure that they stay together. So, Inhale, exhale, see how I shift my weight, heel, left foot, left heel, going to put it on the shelf as I step, follow step, make sure it's all side to side, make sure the feet are in line, okay, all right, so we've got inhale, exhale, Put it on a shelf. Follow step. Okay. Second move is open and close. It's a Qigong, Qigong breathing. Okay. So open and close. So inhale out to about your shoulders. Okay. So it's not the arms but just let your shoulders do it. Bellows, it's like a bellows. Okay, so inhale, out here. Exhale to the width of your head. Inhale like that, open to your shoulders. Exhale to the head. Okay, inhale. Okay, that's the second move. It's kind of like you're checking on the, the pressure of the, the Tai Chi ball. Now, this is Qigong breathing, okay? So this is very good for the lungs. So when we're doing an exercise, when we're doing a movement and it's good for the lungs, I'm gonna you know, stress that because this is important to get our lungs and our breathing apparatus you know, and strong so to, you know, to 
have a fighting chance, you know, to that, uh, that particular virus. So if you do this for 30 minutes a day, you're really strengthening the, the lungs. If you can't stand for that long, chair. It's called open and close. Of course, you don't want to sit in a chair like this. This ain't gonna. Do, this is not gonna work. You know, it's got. You make sure you're, you know, the back is straight. Mindful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, if you do this for uh, at least 30 minutes a day, you'll start to, to, to feel um, something. You know, remember when you, um, at least I do, remember when you, about the magnets and, the, and the, you know, how you used to get two magnets and see how close you get them before, before they go together, and you'd pull them apart, and then, but you get them just close enough and you could feel, and then you do the uh, same charge and you could feel that resistance. You know, you get earned like that. It's kind of like that. You'll start feeling that because chi comes out of here, all right? So you'll start to feel it. And some have already, you know, don't take very long. And they say, boy, I can feel something there. You know, so depending. So you just inhale. Exhale through the nose. Beautiful for the lungs. If you're content with that. Good deal, that's Qigong breathing, okay? All right, so now let's get back to the form. Or the movements, dance. That's what you're doing is learning to dance here, so, okay? So, beginning, inhale, exhale. Heel, ball the foot, then forward. Follow step. Bring the ball back to the chest and do Qigong breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, I'll show you this for you. Inhale. Form the letter U. Exhale. Heel. Forward. Follow step. Change your mind, bring it back to your chest. Open, inhale, exhale. Okay. Yeah, to show you, so you know what my hands are doing, I'm gonna show you a front view. Change my mind, open. Close. Okay? So that's the first two moves. That's the first two. All right? So then, so you've got uh, commencement and open and close. All right? All right? <clears throat> so now we're going to do, um, it's called single whip, or I call it opening the curtains. Okay? If you can't remember single whip, open the curtains. All right? So... Um, let me just open and close, okay? I'll just show you how close you can be. This is a good practice. If you've got a flat wall like this, and you've got it's curtains, they're the ones that slide, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'll show it there. So after I do this, okay, single whip, I, I shift my weight, pivot, and I look at the right window, get in front of the window, Push my hands, find the curtains, and then look at the right and then look at the left hand. I open the curtains. Okay? So I'm just gonna show you this. So I just did open close, okay? The window's here. So shift my weight, pivot on the right ball of foot. Now I'm in front of the curtains. Push my hands, flatten, open the curtains. Okay. Now, when you do the wall, uh, when you're first learning, you'll have a tendency to do this. You know. Well, we're not doing bay windows. Okay. 
So if you do it on a flat surface, it'll keep you from touching the window. So here, turn, step, push, open, okay. I'll just show you a different view. There's the curtains, push, find the seam, open the curtains. Okay, so find the curtains. So you see I'm not going way out there and you don't want to do that. They're not, you're not, that, the windows are right here. Find the curtains, shift your weight to the right. So it's here. Pivot on the ball of foot. In front of the window. Find the seam. Open the curtains. It's called single whip, but I like it opening or uh, open the curtains. Okay? Just practice that. You can practice that at home, even if you have curtains. You know, I did that too. I was at home sliding curtains, and I did that to see if I could do that. It's cool. I could do it. You know, so. Okay, here. So don't forget to shift your weight, pivot on the right ball of your foot, in front of the window, push, open the curtains. Okay, called single whip. All right. So let's put that all uh, put that all together. Okay. I'm gonna give you a, a side <clears throat> side view. This is commencement. Exhale, form the letter U, bring it up to the chest, shift your weight on the right, put the ball back on the shell, follow step, change your mind, open, close, shift your weight on your left, pivot, Put in the window, put your hands, open the curtains. Okay, now go on the back here. Okay. Up. Lift off the, you know, off the shelf, bring it down. Heel, ball of the foot, put it back on the shelf. Follow step. Change your mind, bring it back to your chest level. Open with your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Shift your weight on the left, pivot on the ball of the foot, right ball of the foot. Now you're in the window. Put on, find the seams. Open the window, single whip. Okay. Be careful not to go too, don't be too far, okay. Your weight should be, 70% should be on your heel, okay? You should have that, you know. When you do Tai Chi, it's like you're sitting in a, you know, it's like you're sitting in a chair. Remember Gracho? Some of you may. Uh, uh, Gracho, remember how he used to walk? You know how he walked? I guess. He was doing Tai Chi. He, was a, he never moved, you know, he always just walked. That's kind of like what we're doing Tai Chi. It's like sitting. You're sitting in a chair, okay? Okay? So if you notice that, you see? So I'm going to sit in a chair. So. I'm still in the chair. Still in the chair. So I'm not going up, okay? So up from the bed. Back is straight, here. Stay in the chair. Okay, so the knees are uh, uh, bent there. Okay, and uh, we'll do one more, and then uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stop at that, because you don't want to bite up more than you can chew. Um, <clears throat> so we got single whip, okay, and the next one is wave hands, 
um, <clears throat> or I like to call it wash the windows, okay? This is another good one for, um, for the lungs, breathing, okay? <clears throat> so um, it's a windmill effect, okay? So take your hands, turn it to waist, And start there. Wash the windows. Either inhale, exhale. Just alternate your breathing. Inhale, and return it to waist. Don't go past, past your hips. Exhale. Okay. Good on the window. You can see how close I am. About a foot. Wash the window. Wipe it off. Sponge on. Wipe off. Okay. Or if you've seen Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. Okay. Wash on. Inhale, exhale, okay? And notice how I keep my hands in front, in a line, instead of way out here, you know what I mean? Here, center, and follow the hand, and you're more apt to turn it to waste. Now, some of you may, as you're beginning, it just takes a while to get used to, because you'll, you'll get a lot of this and this, you know? Try not to, you, top of your fingers, try to just be below your eyes. That way your shoulders are relaxed, that's all. You start here, now your shoulders are stressed. They're up here. Called wave hands. Or uh, wave, or wash the windows. All right, the footwork for a wave hand is, see, when we go forward, we're putting the heel, ball of the foot, heel, ball of the foot, okay, when we walk. Side to side, this is side to side, okay? So, shift your weight on the right, tap. Ball the foot, heel, shift your weight. 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 You don't have to step out very far. Ball the foot, heel. It's the weight shifting is that it's important. It's not necessary that, you know, to step that high, but are you shifting the weight? So if you're learning or first learning and trying to get there, imagine your leg is full of sand, one leg, okay? So right leg full of sand, left leg empty. So I'll take the ball of the foot, heel, step. Now put the sand from the right into the left, okay? Now the left is empty, so I can step. Now, put this sand in the left, in the right. So shift your weight on the right. This is empty. Step, put the sand over here. Ball of the foot, heel, now put the sand in here. So you're switching sides, so, okay? And don't forget to breathe. So, you're on, right? You inhale. Now, shift your weight, exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, so we're side to side. Very good for balance. Ball of the foot, heel. Ball of the foot, heel. It's to get you away from this. You know? You go and step to the side. You know? Do the ball of the foot. Move like a, like a cat. Like a cat, ball of the foot, heel. Okay? From the side to side. Ball of the foot, heel. Ball the foot, heel. Ball the foot, heel. Okay. All right? Now, putting the together. Put the hands in that together. All right. All right. So, we just open the curtains. Okay. So, right hand has the sponge. Left hand has the towel. So, I step... Put the hand in the bucket. Step out. Switch hands. Sponge. Sponge on. Step. Wipe off. Step. Switch hands. Shift your weight. Wash on. Step. Switch hands. Wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe it off. These are dirty windows, so we do it three times. Okay? So I'll show it from the side view, or from the back view. Okay? So I'm going to open the curtains. Okay. Sponge, bucket, pretend a bucket's right here. You know, you're going to stick your hand in the bucket, you're going to be washing these windows. Okay, so you're here. Okay, so step towards the bucket, put your hand in the bucket. Now, full step, full step, switch hands, wash hand, wash on, step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step, wash hands, watch on. Step, wipe it off. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. So let's put that all together. We'll continue. Uh, we'll, we'll keep practicing that um, wash hands. This is your first intro. Um, on that, don't worry about it. It'll come with time. Be patient and, 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 and all that too, all right? Okay, so let's do the whole, I'm gonna do the whole thing uh, up to that point to the wash hands, okay? So we're gonna do commencement. Open and close, single whip, or open the curtains, and wave hands, okay? So here we go. Okay. Remember to have your feet angle. Okay, reach up, reach up to get the ball. Lift off the shelf. Bring it down. Form the letter U as you sink. Bring it up to the chest. Shift your weight on the right. Put out your left. You're going to put it on the shelf. Step forward. Follow step. Change your mind. Bring the ball back to your chest. Check the pressure, open, close. Okay, single whip to the right. So shift your weight on your left. Pick up your right heel, pivot on the right ball of your foot. Now you're in front of the window. Put your hands out, find the seam in the curtains and open the curtains. Shift your weight, okay. Now wave hands, this is a sponge. So step to the center, put your hand in the bucket. Step, switch hands, sponge on. 
step, switch hands, wipe off. Step, switch hands, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe it off. Okay. Then you want to check on the ball. Open, close. Okay, so I'll show you what I just did there. And we did it in punch and we did this, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe off. Step, wash on. Step, wipe it off. Step, wash on. Step, wipe it off. Okay. All right, then you check on the ball, which is right here. Open, close. Okay. All right. So that's um, doing it. That's where we're at um, on that uh, uh, the first um, uh, part of section uh, section one. Okay. The basic six uh, six moves. <clears throat> All right. So let's do do this again. Practice, practice, practice. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to show you a side view, beginning, commencement, lift it off, form the letter U, bring it up to the chest, you shift it on the right, heel, ball of the foot, put it back on the shelf, follow step, and you change your mind, bring it back, inhale, exhale, open and close. All right, okay, do it here. You know, lift off the shelf, bring it down. Put it on the shelf, follow step, change your mind, bring it back, open, close. Okay, the next movement is, is uh, single whip. So shift your weight on your left. Pick up your right, pivot on the right, ball your foot. Step in front of the window, okay. Put your hands out, flatten them on the curtains, find the seam, and then open the curtains. And they up, they're dirty, so we're gonna wash them. Sponge is in the right hand, so we shift our weight Put the right hand in the bucket, step, now switch hands, sponge on, sponge on, step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wash on, step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step. Switch hands, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe it off. Check on the ball, open with your shoulders, close. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll complete the next uh, session. Um, we're going to go the other way, all right? Same thing, other way, but other hand, okay? So the sponge is gonna be on the left hand, all right? <clears throat> so we just completed going, doing the right window, now we got a left window, okay? So, um, so we turn, step with our left, button hands, this time look at our right hand, open the curtains, okay? So we just washed the right window, okay, boom. Open, close, shift the weight on the right, pivot on our left, ball of foot, step 
in front of the left window, put our hands, flatten them. This time, shift your weight on the left and look at your right hand. Now, left hand has a sponge this time. So we step towards the bucket, step out, switch hands, wash on, step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wipe on, step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wash on, step, switch hands, wipe it off. Check on the ball, open, close, put it back on the shelf and bring the hands down. Okay, and that's the uh, whole section of the first uh, basic six moves, okay? So I'm gonna do it all together, okay? And I'm gonna, you're gonna see when I'm back, you're gonna follow me and just do the best you can and don't hurt yourself, you know? And uh, uh, the beauty of the video, you can always go back and forth and stop and whatever uh, on your own machine. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Make sure your feet have some kind of angle. Remember the angle? The crane. The crane or the penguin. Okay. Reach up, get the ball, lift it off the shelf, form the letter U, shift your weight on the right. Put it on the shelf, follow step, change your mind, bring the ball back to your chest, open with your shoulders, inhale, exhale, single whip to the right or open the curtains, shift your weight on your left, pivot on the right ball of your foot, front of the right window, push your hands, open the curtains, sponges in the right hand, step towards the bucket, Step, switch hands, sponge on, one. Step, shift your weight, left, wipe it off. Step, swash on. Step, wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe it off. Check on the ball, open, close with your shoulders. Let's look at the left window. Shift your weight on the right, pivot on your left ball of foot. Step in front of the window, find this seam, open the curtains, look at the right. Left hand has a sponge, step towards the bucket. Step, switch hands. Wash on, step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe it off. Step, switch hands, wash on. Step, switch hands, wipe it off. Okay, they're all clean. Check on the ball, open, close. Put the ball back on the shelf. Bring your hand straight down. Okay, okay. You wanna put it back on the shelf. See, cause you're moving chi, okay? So you don't wanna spill the chi. So after you do all that, you know, and you get on there, you just don't want, you want to put it back on the shelf and allow the chi to settle through the body. You just don't want to do this because you just spilled the chi, okay? You want to keep that in the body. You allow, the, allow it to settle in the body. So every move, so after you open and close, after you wash the windows, both left and right, put it on the shelf, bring it down. Okay. And we'll continue. Uh, to go over. That's the first 
uh, six basic moves uh, on there. And for just you warm up, you cool down. And um, believe me, the more Tai Chi you do, the more Chi, you're going to realize it is a workout. Um, in the beginning, you don't know. You think, well, I didn't do anything. You know, I hardly did anything. After a while, you start getting that moving, you'll feel like you had a workout, I guarantee you. Okay? So we need to cool down because I don't want you trying to do something, you know, and you're in la la land, you know, and that kind of stuff in the chi. It's good to settle down, let the body cool down. Okay? So lightly hit the thighs, gently. Uh, the women understand gently. What I have found, the men are like, bam, and bam. I said, easy, easy, easy. You know, for some reason, <laughs> we just, gentle. This is just to get you settled down. Okay. So, like I said, chi is electromagnetic energy. And we, we in, the, in your room where you're at, you know, you've heard of a snow globe, right? And... You know, when you shake it up, then, you know, then all that, that. Well, that's what happened. When you stir this up, that's like shaking the, sco uh, the s snow globe. Chi comes out in the room. You're stirring it up, so it's just there, okay? So that's your opportunity to take it in before it all settles back down, okay? So this is, let's take this in, all right? So here we go. Take your hands. Inhale. And exhale through the nose. Gently. Just let your, make sure your shoulders stay down. And you're not forcing this down. Just, just lower your hand. Just, you know, the way you want to drop, let your shoulders drop first. Then your arms, then your hands. Be mindful of that, okay? Inhale. Let your shoulders go down first, then your arms, then your hands. You'll feel it, you know, in, your, in the scapula. You'll feel that back here. In the Relax. That's the way you want that to be automatic because those shoulders will stay down then. Inhale. Scooping up the cheek. You're scooping it up and taking it home with you. So when you bring it down to the Don Tin, this is like a vacuum cleaner hose, okay? So as you bring the chi, it goes, it goes in, okay? That's the teachings, look it up, okay, so. Okay, so now you wanna put your, fr uh, your frame, your pos skeletal position in a different frame, so put the feet together and do it again. Just put your skeleton in a different position. You may find and the more you do this, the more you want to do that, you know. So we're just doing it because we haven't have so much time here, you know. But continue to grab in as much chi as you want. If you want to do this for 30 minutes, whatever, do it, you know. This is where you're going to feel that you, what you're doing is bringing in that chi, or electric magnetic energy. And you want to take it and take that internalize that okay so it's like a hose and a vacuum cleaner okay okay and um, for you beginners and, and all that there's you'll see this a lot what this is is a uh, universal uh, symbol of uh, Tai Chi you can do this anywhere in the world you don't even have to speak their language and what you're saying is I am a practitioner of Tai Chi okay so right hand left hand Okay. Right means strength, fingers, friendship, think of people. Thumb curls in, that's humility. And when you cover this, um, it's, um, it's uh, harmony and uh, peace. Okay, so together, so strength, unity. Okay, so that's the universal uh, uh, symbol. Um, and I did this in, when I was in China out of habit. And when I did that, um, they, oh, you know Tai Chi. So this means, better yet, you're taking control of your health. Um, so that's a neat uh, feeling. So uh, 
have a wonderful day, do, you know, use common sense and all that, and I'll see you in the next session.